Well, this is a car I've been meaning to do a video of uh, for a while now. This is a 96 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. I picked this up in, I believe it was January, possibly early February of this year. It's uh, black on black with uh, black uh, leather inside. It's powered by the uh, same LT1350 V8 that's in my uh, Roadmaster over there, my 9C1, which is in here right now. And overall, it's in uh, very good condition for its age. It's got 177,000 miles. And has almost no rust on it. Picked this one up in New Jersey. Uh, it was on eBay with a bad transmission. Talked the guy down uh, real cheap on this thing and drove it home with uh, only first and second gear. Got the full uh, vinyl roof on it with the aftermarket sunroof. And the chrome cladding all around the perimeter of it. Let's have a look inside. And the Heritage of Ownership badge I found at the junkyard I put on there. So, and on the inside has heated leather seats. It's very clean inside, very good condition. The only damage on the seats is here, which looks like someone tried to fix it, and a little bit of cracking right there. Now, despite the look of everything in here, this is uh, this is a, a very similar to the well, not similar. It's built off of the similar chassis of the uh, Caprice. It's uh, this one's actually a D body, whereas the Caprice is a B body. The difference being uh, frame size. This one's a, obviously a bigger car, but a lot of parts interchange between the two, between the front doors. Digital gauges, aftermarket radio the previous owner installed, and a CD changer that doesn't exist. So garage door opener, home link system, and that's for the power sunroof. Light visors, opera lights. Door for the sunroof. This thing is an extremely comfortable car and uh, rides like a Cadillac. What else can I say? <laughs> so, take a look under the hood. Just washed it, so I probably have some water dripping off the grill here. Yep. Exact same drivetrain as uh, B body LT1 cars. And I added that, pulled that off of a, I think it was a DeFille or a Seville to Junkyard. And there's wiring in here, there was an amp in this car at some point, all that stuff's missing. Like a Cadillac imposed on the liner there. Let's start her up. Cadillac remote. All digital. Dual ashtrays with a single lighter in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
Went pretty good for 177k. Power lumbar support. Full power seats with memory. And uh, automatic headlights. And interesting note about these headlights in this car is unlike all the other uh, GM cars I've owned, this Twilight Sentinel system usually works where when the car's uh, ignition is on and it's dark enough out, the lights turn automatically. In this Cadillac, it works differently. These lights will not turn on until I shift it out of park. It should turn on now. Yep, and the indicators went on. That's a really cool feature about this car. Yeah, it's on each fender indicator shows the status of the lights like this one being the headlights marker lights and that would be the high beam I'll show you flip the lever here that one lights up green also has those in the rear and right up there, kind of hard to see. Just gonna work these, keeping the camera on them. Very cool. The sliding sunroof. And this is made by like a German company. This one was uh, it's an aftermarket one. It was either aftermarket and installed by the factory or the dealer. I'm not really 100% sure how that worked. The stock GM one would open up further, I think, to about here or so in the roof. And with that one. You lose these things here. Rear uh, vanity lights. So one for each side. And got padding all around everywhere in here. The one cool feature about this sunroof that the factory one didn't, didn't have is when you lock it. It automatically closes. And of course, it has the uh, trunk pull down lever, like I would assume any other caddy. Really a uh, big roomy trunk here. Fit a lot of bodies in this thing. Pull down. Dual exhaust, all stainless steel exhaust. And the only real flaw with this thing is this rear bumper's shot. The chrome is cracked here, it's pitting everywhere, there's rust, and I don't understand that. I've never seen one of these cars with a bumper look this crappy. So I'm currently trying to find another bumper for this thing. But other than that, it's in excellent condition and uh, love driving this thing. It's just so comfy and just floats down the road. And it's just surprising how much quieter the interior is from the uh, even the road now. So that's a relatively quiet car, but this thing can't hear the road at all in this, it's just great. And the rear 
sitting a little bit low to leak in the rear shocks. That's on my to-do list for this car. As well as painting this belt line trim that previous owner spray painted silver and did like a real bad job. And painted right over the damn emblems. Well, I'm probably gonna pull those off and respray them. Satin black. That was a real nice for the car. Well, there you have it, the 96 Caddy Fleetwood Farm.